There has always been a cat in my house. House here is meant in its broadest sense of family or household. This does not mean there was always a cat like I have always had a cat or I have always had a microwave. It's more along the lines of there was always a cook or a butler as we hear in those 1920s plays or more personally Big Gran always lived with us. A cat was always there it could be taken for granted at certain life points and at other times it could be a treasured confidant. In my archaeology I have come to focus on the idea of things, houses, animals and people as having biographies whose changing, sometimes serendipitous convergences at different times and situations creates that rich phenomenon that we call a place. This gaze at place and history and biography means that each cat in my history is different and important in his or her own right. Likewise, each cat that I met in these Tuscan places is different in its history, its experience and its personality. But what you cats hold in common is that you are all independent thinkers, resistors to authority, challengers to conformity, masters and mistresses of complex social interaction, and above all, experts in the awareness of place. I am a cat person. I cherish a sense of place. It's why I delight in archaeology, the construction of imagined places of the past. When I excavated a 5,000-year-old settlement buried under a field of corn at Selevats in Serbia, the local villagers told me that once upon a time there had existed a village in that field where the houses were so close together that a cat could jump from one roof to another. And we found the houses, placed a yard from each other. And, what a surprise, we found the remains of a cat. I am a cat person.